The trial is underway for the man accused of raping and murdering a nine-year-old girl and then disposing her body along the Courtney Campbell Causeway back in 2014. Prosecutors made their opening statements today. But as ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us, the defense team for Granville Ritchie decided not to say anything and for a specific reason. In front of a jury tasked at deciding the fate of this man, Granville Ritchie, state prosecutor Scott Harmon spelled out his opening argument. This defendant, Granville Ritchie, and took her into this apartment, which became for this little girl a place of nightmare. Harmon showed the jury pictures and went over details from May of 2014 when nine-year-old Felicia Williams was found dead along the Courtney Campbell Causeway. It was a Friday and Felicia was off school that day. According to the state, Felicia called and asked her mom, Felicia Demerson, if she could go with Ebony Wiley, a family friend and former neighbor, to McDonald's. Demerson described her daughter to the jury in court today. She loved people, she loved life, she loved animals. And she most definitely loved her family. Demerson told Felicia she could go with Wiley, but didn't know Richie was with them. Instead of going to get food, he drove them to his apartment in Temple Terrace. And when the family friend left to run errands, Harmon says Richie raped and killed her. Felicia Williams' life meant less to this man than his sexual desires to violate her. The defense didn't make any opening arguments, saying they'd like to use that time during closing arguments. Court will resume on Monday at 9.15. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.